a new map, new place names, a new phase of the war. For a unified Allied strategy has now seized the initiative in the Mediterranean theater. General Eisenhower, the American Commander-in-Chief, has worked in complete and enthusiastic harmony with the British General Staff. He leads the United States forces in their part of the operations, and their move into North Africa has gone absolutely according to plan. Landing at many points along the coast from the Atlantic ports of Morocco, past the Straits of Gibraltar, on to Algeria and Tunisia, they are forestalling the Axis and taking up strategic positions of incalculable importance. Convoyed with Royal Naval Precision, United States forces have started their big task with high efficiency. A mere glance at the map is enough to show the material gain to an Allied strategy. Meanwhile, the victorious 8th Army, smashing through on the bleak battlefields of Egypt, had struck a blow at Nazi strength in Africa, Nazi prestige in Germany and all Europe that will take some explaining in the Reich. Movitan is privileged to present the first pictures from Egypt of the first phase of the battle, a battle which has completely destroyed the myth of Rommel's invincibility. Here we are with part of a British armored division just before our big push began. Tanks in great strength, their crews in perfect fighting form assembled in the desert while final preparations were made in readiness for the order to advance. Just before zero hour, and all is quiet. Then... All through that night and into the broad light of day, British guns poured tons of shells at Rommel's invincibles, and tough fighters though they are, they simply couldn't take it. Then the infantry went forward. Men from the north of Britain and men from the south, United Kingdom troops, Islanders, the Northumbrian Division, and fighting men from the home counties. Men from the Dominions, from South Africa, New Zealand, Australia, and India. All of them trained to a hair for just this moment. This was their opportunity, and how they took it. After they'd opened a way through minefields, the tanks followed through according to plan. And Rommel retreated, also according to plan, at least that's what the German communiques said. The fact is, however, that the plan was ours. Rommel was not consulted. General Montgomery, with Air Marshal Cunningham at advance headquarters, already had every reason to feel on top of the world. RAF and Army worked as one, and both were terrific. This was the RAF's view of our tanks moving into the attack. Though President Roosevelt has stressed the fact that the great majority of our equipment in the desert is British, we have to thank America for much, particularly for the Grants and Shermans, which with heavy armor and big hard-hitting guns dealt very severely with Rommel's panzer. None of Rommel's tricks and none of his much-boosted weapons could stop the British and American tanks during those days of fierce fighting that led to the big breakthrough. Here's one incident that could be multiplied a hundred times. A German tank is knocked out, a survivor surrenders, and our boys carry straight through. Using the enemy tank for cover, they pick off Nazis on the run. The 
advance continues. Then, from all along the line, prisoners begin to come back. No matter how greatly war has changed, one thing remains as true as ever. You can judge the weight of victory by the number of prisoners. This is the beginning of the end of the Africa Corps. Those Germans can't believe it yet, though. According to plan, reception centers have been prepared at many places. Come early to avoid the rush. Ten minutes later and you've had to queue up. The pursuit of the beaten enemy continued and this time there was to be no escape. Allied commanders knew that whatever might get away from the clutches of the 8th Army would still be finished out by our giant grip on North Africa. As for the Royal Air Force, now almost unopposed, it continued to strafe and bomb the men who once had it all their own way. be sure that according to plan, Germany has received the first installment of a beating she will never forget. <laughs> 